It's been a long time since I did my old school computer videos series and uh, in those videos I had talked about my Apple IIc. I finally got around to digging this thing out of storage and uh, I'm not the original owner of this so it's quite a mess and I have not done any repair work to this yet. Um, I also have the original monitor but it does not work correctly and it's probably up in my garage attic somewhere still. Maybe someday I'll get around to doing a restoration on this whole system, but I'm not really sure. I have uh, a joystick for it. Yeah, it looks like it might be original, actually. It says Starfighter on it. Copyright Apple. Or no, it says for Apple. So maybe it's uh, supplied by some other company. Um, there's a stack of paperwork here and some discs. bunch of different discs. Check those out in a second. Carmen San Diego. Not sure if the disc is still in there or not. Image Writer 2 Owner's Manual. Boy, who hasn't used one of those in, in uh, early grade school if you're my age? Um, <clears throat> I don't have this printer anymore unfortunately. Uh, I've had this thing laying around for years, and I think before I re before these things were really worth any money, I ended up getting rid of the printer because it was in the way. But that was many years ago, and of course now I regret it because now these things are worth a pretty penny on eBay, it seems. <coughs> Master type. <laughs> Old coupons. The Great American Cross Country Road Race, Activision. There's another thing, I'm not sure if it's actually here or not. Let's see here. Cut and paste. Electronic Arts. <coughs> 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 Oh, I gotta love it. But anyway, let me uh, find a disc and see what this thing does. Let's take a look at what we got here for software. Hmm. Epics Championship Wrestling. Some of these discs are probably blank. A lot of them aren't labeled. DOS 3.3. 12-21-1984 Go Big Red and there's cut and paste cut and paste work disc uh, Swashbuckle, Cannonball, Blitz, Dig Dug, Qbert, Dung Beetles I'm going to have to check that one out <coughs> Hmm, Stellar Invader, Spies, Demise, can't quite read that. And there's Carmen San Diego. And here is Master Type. And what's this? Wavy Navy and Fat City? Hmm. Now, well, let's see here. All right, disk is loaded. Let's see here. It's been a while since I did this. Control, open, Apple, reset. My God, the disk actually works. Oh, swashbuckler. Actually, I want to do the other side of the disk. I think that's what had all the good stuff on it. Volume must be down low. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, dog on this thing. Whatever. <laughs> Next disc. Holy crap, the print shop. This really takes me back. See, I remember when this was brand new. 
And uh, I remember making a poster for my dad. This was so back in the day. The keyboard on this thing is just all gummed up. Oh man. Let's see. C kaleidoscopes. Kaleidoscope one or two. Oh my. <laughs> I remember when this stuff was just mind blowing at the time. You know the sad thing is, uh, so many people that, that grew up on these uh, had no idea that they actually had color. I believe they have a 16 color palette. And uh, you know, around the time these were new, color monitors were insanely expensive. And uh, most schools, you know, mine included, I think always had the monochrome monitors. And uh, it's kind of a sad thing because these actually had a decent picture with a color monitor. Hmm. Sure takes it a while to draw the screen, doesn't it? These things weren't exactly speed demons. Keyboard is just horrendous. Let's see. It's been so long since I used this program. Oh my god, I haven't seen this in so long. <laughs> And this keyboard is bad. Well, that's some high poly stuff right there. You know, the pictures in this program really kind of resemble the CGA color palette on a IBM PC. Kind of a pink and pink and turquoise. I just can't believe how far computers have come in 30 years. It's <laughs> a lot of stuff on this disc. I haven't even had to flip it over yet. Oh well. See that right there I think was a picture I used on my dad's little banner and uh, I 
think I may even have it somewhere in my filing cabinet. Um, I had this and a heart border and stuff, and I remember waiting for it forever for it to print out on that image writer printer that only printed in one direction. And uh, it had a very distinctive sound. I'm sure you could find a video of, of one on YouTube doing its thing, but I'll never forget the sound of those things printing. They were very slow. But being the kid I was at the time, I was mesmerized by it. Hmm. I'm going to move on to another disc though. I don't want to use too much time up on one program here. Alright, got another disc in the drive. Let's see what happens here. Eesh. I remember doing this back in the day. Noisy old thing. I think there might be some problems with the disk drive in this computer. Uh, I'll talk more about that in a little bit here. I think right now it's just busy thinking. Oh, you weren't kidding when they said one moment, please. <laughs> Sounds like pole position to me. <laughs> Let's see. Does this even work? Oh, man. This is interesting. I can't really play this. Okay then. I'm not sure if the graphics graphics are supposed to look like that or not. I don't believe they are. I think there's something wrong. Moving on. Alright, going on got another disc here. This is one of those really dumb games. <laughs> ah. I guess you're supposed to knock down buildings. This game's got some action, I tell you what. Ooh. That'll buff right out.
Okay, next disc. All right, I'm trying to get this game disc working here. I'll switch over to the second one. And uh, come on, keyboard. Turn it. Oh yeah, there's files types A and B. I remember this. In order to run something with a B on it, you got to type B run instead of run. I hate the uh, NTSC comb filtering artifacts on the screen, this rainbow coloring letters. I don't know if it will do that on a real video monitor or not. I know it does to some degree, but it's very annoying. Jay to use the joystick. I wonder if the joystick works. Plug this thing in. Uh, where is it? There it is. This is a pain. There it is. I don't know if it's going to work or not. I've never tried the joystick. Stick doesn't work. Probably need to calibrate it. <laughs> Whatever. Boy, it sure is a far cry from the arcade version, but in its defense, the arcade version was pretty darn powerful for the time. I think it had three Z80 processors on it and uh, a bunch of our graphics and sound. This has a 16502 CPU. Um, let me check one last thing real quick. I'm loading up my AppleWorks disk that I used when I was back in high school. And uh, I really want to get to my data files that are on here, but it's got a problem. And I'll show you what it's doing. Maybe you guys are, uh, can remember this more than I can, but it's been too long for me to, to know what's going on. But, uh, yeah, this thing's definitely not Y2K compliant. It won't allow me to put, I tried to do this fairly recently and it wouldn't let me put a later date. It tops out at like 99. But, um, let's see, I want to add files to the desktop from my data disk. And go to a different disk. Built-in disk. Let's see. Done it. Okay. Place your data disk in the drive. Okay, and this is where I run into the problem. Got my data disk here. And it finds the file. But when I go to load it, it just stops here and does nothing the rest of the time. And I'm not sure if there's a slight firmware difference between the 2C and the 2E, but uh, all these things were written. <clears throat> um, this AppleWorks stuff was used on an Apple 2E at my school, so I'm wondering if there's a slight incompatibility going on. but. I really want to get these old journals off here that I wrote back in 1996 and uh, see what they said out of curiosity and I cannot get it to load. In fact, I'm almost to the point where I want to find a Apple IIe for cheap on eBay just to try this on. But any of you guys remember 
if that is a compatibility problem with this or not let me know because it has been a long time since I uh, used one of these as my daily use computer and I've forgotten most of the little quirks from what I can remember the uh, 2C is just a compact version of the 2E has the same built-in options like the 80 column and some memory expansion so I mean it shouldn't have a problem but who knows but uh, I think I'm going to wrap this video up. I've got some other stuff I've got to do. And uh, I don't know. I guess that was a quick look at my Apple IIc. Maybe I'll do some more work on this in the future and get it cleaned up real nice.